after a whole month, I'm back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today I'll be showing you how to do a split cube on After Effects, so without any jibba jabba, let's get on with it. Capybara, 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 capybara. No no Making a split cube is far more easier than any other 3D thing I have ever done and I was honestly so surprised. So it's almost like making a cube, you don't have to be afraid of it, it's super easy. So first, import your picture into your composition. Resize it to the composition, which is 100 each, and pre-compose it. Make sure that these two are clicked right here. Go to this right here and turn on proportional grid. Click on the clip and double click this. Then double click this. And then just reduce the mask to the middle of the composition. You can zoom in to see that it's precise. Duplicate the clip and invert the mask. Change the color of the clip so that you don't get confused. Duplicate this clip. Go on the first clip and press M on your keyboard and delete the mask. Duplicate this clip again. You can disable the other color clip for the time being. Click on the mask one and duplicate it three times so that there are four clips. Select these clips and turn on the 3D mode as well as the motion blur. Go to active camera and change it to custom view one. Select the first two clips, go to anchor point and change it to 540. Select the second two clips go to anchor point and change it to minus 540. Leave the first clip, go on the second clip, press R on your keyboard and change the and change the Y rotation to 90. Again, skip this clip, go on the second clip, press R on your keyboard and change the Y rotation to 90. This way you have the four sides of the cube made. To make the bottom and the top, go on the full clip, press R on your keyboard Change the X rotation to 90. Go on your second full clip, press A on your keyboard, change the third anchor position to 540. Then press R on your keyboard, X rotation, make it minus 90. This way you have the top part of the cube ready. Go to custom view one and change it to active camera. Add a new null. Select all the purple clips and parent it to the null. Put on the 3D mode and change the size of the null to about 74. Do the same process with the other colored clip. After you're done with the other side, of the cube, select all the purple cubes including the null and turn on the view mode. Choose the topmost clip, go to layer and select and add a new null layer. Change the color of this null layer again so you don't get confused. Now choose the red null layers and parent it to the third layer. Go to custom view one and change it to active camera. This way, if you use this null to navigate, the whole cube will move together. See. And if you want to navigate particular parts of the cube, go to those null layers and can mess with the settings. I'm just gonna add a simple zoom out and a bit of a rotation. This is how the end result looks. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I'm really grateful for that. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful.